Hey guys, so today I'm going to talk about uh, rendering parameters um, and in my new series uh, kind of a quick fire sessions where I just kind of cover one quick topic, um, usually less than 10 minutes. So be, be on the lookout for those, these videos I'll be creating. But anyways, uh, as for rendering parameters, uh, there's really two styles of rendering parameters. Um, there's the first, which I'll show you right now, um, is we'll go into a home item that I have already set up, and we'll go into presentation details, and then we'll cl click on a rendering. So, um, so the first style is here at the bottom. Um, you'll see that it, it says additional parameters. Basically, this is a you know key value pair down here at the bottom, um, but they're kind of free form. So I could say CSS class, um, you know, brown is a class, and then I could say, you know, a line, and then right, you know, things like that. Um, the problem with this is obviously if, if you had multiple uh, renderings on a page or even multiple renderings in general across multiple pages of your site, and you were then defining CSS class for all of them, and you and you're you're you have maybe a, a six by six rendering, and it always expects a CSS class uh, called CSS class, and it's uh, in its uh, in the controller. Um, if you accidentally misspell it, you're going to then not be able to pull in this value. So um, this is not a very well structured way of of getting that. Also, if you are working with glass, um, it, it makes sense to use the, the approach I'm about to show you versus this approach because uh, you can get more strongly typed names um, and you're less likely to make uh, spelling mistakes or things like that when working with uh, the second approach I'm about to show you. So let's go ahead and just cancel out of this and go ahead and cancel. So the second approach is actually a lot like you, what you would do for creating templates for pages or data sources or things like that. You're just going to go ahead and create a, um, a template for your rendering parameters. So what I'm going to go ahead and do first is just create a template folder, and I'm going to just call it parameters. It's just a folder that will contain all the rendering parameter templates I will eventually create. Um, and then to start out, um, actually, I'm going to go up here to base, and I'm going to create a base parameters. It's important to always create, create base, um, base templates if possible. Even if they don't hold anything unique about them, it allows you to, you could, if you decide later on that you have a bunch of parameters and you need to add some sort of um, feel to it, um, you can do it to the base parameters without having to go into each parameter that template you've created and adding it individually. So, so this needs to inherit from the base, uh, I believe it's called base standard rendering parameters or something like that. Um, I believe it's under the layouts folder. And then rendering parameters and the standard rendering parameters. Uh, click next, click next, and close. So now this inherits from that standard rendering parameters, which is kind of uh, kind of brings in the default um, settings for having a ba having a rendering parameter template. Um, and now I will go ahead. Uh, typically, I'll give this a um, um, standard values even if they're not being used for anything. And then I will create this new template I'm gonna call, I'll call it grid. And I'm gonna have it inherit from that base that I just created. Just like that, click next, next, and then close. Um, so now it's just like creating any other template in Sitecore. I'm going to call this component settings. But you can give it any other appropriate name that you see fit. If you're working with a grid, you can call it grid settings. You can just call it grid. 
Um, it really depends on the naming conventions that you think make sense for your organization or, or, or even for your personal self. Whatever uh, fits in with your team uh, should be fine, as long as it's common across, across the board. So I'm going to go ahead and call this CSS class. And this is a single line text box. I've seen this go a little bit further, which I'm not going to show in this uh, session, but you could have some sort of lookups item that you have um, where you could define all the CSS classes that you could potentially have for a site, and then you could use a drop link instead. So then you'd make the the value that the, the user would be selecting, you'd make it strongly typed as well. So there, you know, somebody might not ask, somebody that might go in with this approach to using a single line text text area or box would could accidentally type in a class name wrong. Um, actually, it would actually make more sense to use a multi-line or multi-list field instead, um, just because you might want more in one class. But um, but you get the point. You could use a drop list instead um, to you know have a little bit more uh, um, you know. Rig rigidness uh, around the names that uh, the class names. But if you are working with an organization where the classes you are always creating new classes, things like that, it might make sense to just keep a single line. Um, and we could we could define other things for a grid pattern, but uh, I'm just going to keep it simple for this this session. Um, I'm quite possibly going to do another session in the future on rendering parameters. I'm going to show kind of more advanced rendering primer techniques and uh, things like that. But OK, so I have a grid. So the next part is assigning this this param these uh, this template to a rendering. So to do that, we would go to layouts, uh, rendering, and then going into example, since I created a grid uh, rendering primer, template. I'm going to just go into my 6x6 six six here. And then you're going to look for the thing called rendering parameters, or the field called rendering parameters, or parameters template. Uh, so here you will specify a, a um, you know, a, a rendering parameter template that you created. You can only select one, which may be a, a negative, but if you use a lot of bases to make up your, so if you had a base grid, a base page size, a base, you know, list, et cetera, you can then create one specific to this rendering. You call it six by six parameters, and then you could assign all these bases to it. That way it could have, it can make up a lot of other um, te uh, template uh, fields. So um, it's kind of cool, and that's, that's really the power of base templates. Um, so I'll go ahead and select grid. And I'll just go ahead and save. Um, so now you can now start to see why this is, is so much better. So I'm going to go back to the home item and back to presentation details. And I'm going to click on my 6x6. Six six. Right off the bat, you can now see the advantage of this. So I can go ahead now and type in brown like I did before. But I don't have to worry about, oh, well, maybe I might type this CSS class name wrong um, or this, this, this key wrong. So that, you know, in my renderings or this rendering for the 6x6 that I'm creating, um, I won't have to worry about, you know, having a name that could be wrong. So, um, and... In a future session, I will show you uh, using a you know glass to you know, creating and you can actually create a model that represents a parameters template. Um, that way, your rendering can pull in that rendering parameters uh, template as a as a model, and then you can do things with it um, with a structured uh, you know model versus having a you know kind of a key value um, dictionary that's returned. By, by the default site core, um, I think it's called rendering context or something like that. Um, this this is a lot more strongly typed, and and you won't have to worry about you know spelling mistakes or you know 
things like that, and you'll know what's available to you as well. I mean, um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. Um, so, yep, if you have any questions about this, uh, please feel free to reach out to me on my LinkedIn or through my YouTube channel. Um, and, uh, yeah, that's it.